a family in Oklahoma, plus I work there a lot. Let me tell you something. I don't know if they're ever going to be done building Oklahoma. <laughs> that whole state is under construction. And the best part, if you've ever driven through Oklahoma, the best part about their construction zones is they have this sign in front of every construction zone and all the signs say the same thing. They say, watch out! Don't hit our workers. $10,000 fine. So, no murder charge. Huh, Oklahoma? Not even attempted vehicular manslaughter. We're just going with a fine and maybe a stern talking to at the courthouse. Right, like you show up, they're like, what are you here for? I'm turning myself in, I ran over a construction worker. That'll be 10 grand, please. Really, I just, I just swiped this, it's a chip reader, my bad. I didn't think y'all had that yet. I didn't, I didn't think that got here yet. Do I get a receipt for this? I don't, I don't know, I've never gotten away with murder before. I don't know how this works. Say, is this tax deductible? That would be neat. Just talking to other people like, what are you here for? I killed somebody. Oh, how? I stabbed them. You messed up. You should have ran them over. You're going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to go get a second job and pay for my murder. That's how it works here. Is this that big of a problem that they need these signs everywhere? They're just losing construction work? Maybe that's why they're not done building it yet. I don't know. <laughs> But like the governor has to do like a yearly update. He's like, well, last year we lost 3,500 construction workers <laughs> on account of them getting runned over. <laughs> on the plus side, revenue is up $35 million. So keep killing y'all. We're gonna finish building this state eventually. All right. <laughs> Crazy, man. I love going there, though. It's great. Unless there's a tornado. That is Tornado Alley. Why would anyone move, by the way, to a place named Tornado? Who's in charge of marketing for Tornado Alley? That is the worst idea for a name ever. You ever been through a tornado in Tornado Alley? Oh, it's crazy. It is wild. And there is a whole set of rules that the rest of us don't know and they don't tell you when you get there. You just have to learn as it happens. It is crazy. I will never forget the first time I ever went through a tornado in Oklahoma. I was in Duncan, Oklahoma, right? So I'm, there, I'm staying at this little two-story holiday inn, and I get there, and I check in, and I, I go upstairs, and I put my stuff in my room, and I go back downstairs to the bar, and I'm sitting there eating, watching TV, and out of nowhere, I hear this, what is that? Are we being invaded by the Germans right now? What is happening? And the bartender goes, oh, there's a tornado coming. Why is no one moving right now? Shouldn't we all be running so? And the dude that was sitting next to me starts laughing. He goes, where are you from, young man? I said, I'm from Houston. He goes, Houston, what are you worried about? Y'all have hurricanes. Not the same thing, man. Not the same thing at all. Like, we track hurricanes. We got several weeks warning. This is very sudden. <laughs> Not the same at all. Like, hurricanes are like our babies. We see when they're born. We name them. <laughs> we watch them get bigger. Eventually they go away and leave us alone. <laughs> Tornadoes are like crazy exes. <laughs> they just pop up out of nowhere, ruin all your stuff and leave. That is not the same, man. This is what he goes, well, you're okay as long as you're not on the second floor. I'm on the second floor, man. What is happening right now? 
I said, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. What do I do? This is what this man told me. He said, all right, here's what you do. This is what y'all just, he said, just go upstairs, get in the tub, and put the mattress over you. So you're messing with me now. You see me scared, you're just making up random objects. Just making up, and everybody in the bar is like, no, that's what we do. This is the plan in Oklahoma. A tub and a mattress, which is pretty on point. You know, it's good to have a deathbed when you're gonna die from a tornado. Do they know we've been to the moon? We have technology. And I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, that's what we do. I was like, well, I'm out of here. I'm not dying with y'all. And I ran across the parking lot up to my room. I opened the door and I was like, oh man, I got a king size. I can't lift that. I don't, I don't know what to do now. I don't want to go back out there where the tornado is. And I just remember this dude telling me to get in the tub. So y'all, I just got in the tub and laid there because no one in the bar said what to do once I was in the tub. Now this is 1998, I don't have a smartphone so I can't check the weather. And I also forgot to turn on the TV before I got in this tub. And I know what you're thinking, just get out of the tub and go turn on the, I'm not leaving this tub. This tub is base. We have established that a tub is the only thing a tornado can't destroy. I am, I'm here for the duration. So now I'm just laying in this tub thinking things like, do I want to die from a tornado? Or do I want to die from hepatitis C? Because this is so gross, I can't do this. Oh, it's disgusting. So I laid there for 45 minutes. I didn't know what the timing was on a tornado. Figured 45 minutes was enough, right? And I'm not making this up. I go to get out of the tub. I put one foot on the floor. Ah, what? Are you kidding me right now? Another one? Oh. I got back in the tub. And I laid there for another 45 minutes. At which point I was like, I'd rather die. This is enough of this. So I get out of the tub, I go to the door, and if you've never been through a tornado, it's like real eerie afterwards. And I opened the door and it was all creepy outside. I was like, oh man, I don't know what happened to everybody in the bar. I better, I better go check on them. So I go across the parking lot to the bar and I, I open the door and every person that was in the bar when I left was still in the same spot that I left them. No, my food was still on the bar with a napkin over it. Like they knew something I didn't. Also, it was very ironic. It looked like a mattress over a tub. I was like, well, that's pretty interesting. There's a theme. And I just walked in, I was like, what is going on? And the dude that was sitting next to me turns, he goes, bro, where have you been? I've been in the tub where you said to be. He goes, you've been in the tub for an hour and a half? Yes. Well, I was gonna get out after 45 minutes, but then I heard the second siren, second tornado coming, got back in the tub. And the whole bar just died laughing. <laughs> I was like, what's so, what's, so, what's so funny? And the bartender goes, oh, that second siren is all clear. What? <laughs> what? I'm throwing this food at somebody. What? You didn't tell me that before I left? What? That's good information to have. And by the way, Oklahoma, whose idea was it to make the warning siren the all clear siren? <laughs> we could do better than that. It is Oklahoma. Just get like a redneck with a bullhorn at the end. Just be like, yeah! All right, cool, we can come out now. Bubba's in the yard, we're safe. <sighs> I 